Hey YouTube, this is The Green Cabbie, and today we're gonna to show you our self-watering containers, but the ones that are automated. They 100% water themselves, they fertilize themselves, and we never have to touch them. All you do is you plant perennials in there, and uh, they just keep growing year after year. It is awesome and amazing. So basically the setup we have is we actually have a pump system. We got the water coming out of our 20,000 gallon rain tank. Uh, the pump pumps it up to the top. And then on each one of the systems, we have two systems here, one here and one there. And on each one of the systems, we have a shutoff valve just in case we need to maintenance the system uh, so that we can leave one system running and turn one off to maintenance it uh, so that we don't have water spraying all over the place and we don't waste water and it comes into a bucket that actually has a float valve. When the float valve is down, it fills up, and then when the float comes up, it stops. And what happens is that these wires actually go in to the bottom of the self-watering containers, and once it gets up to that level, it goes on to the next one, and the next one, and the next one, all the way down. And one float valve like this can usually accommodate 10 to 12 large containers. And so in these large containers, we're able to plant a couple of big plants on the top, plus we're able to plant like strawberries or peppers and stuff on the side that are small. Pretty much get anywhere from 10 to 15 plants in a self-watering container like this. To create a reservoir, it has a solid piece of chloroplast all the way across the bottom so that under here is all water. And then you pile your soil on top and then it's got these little wicking pieces of fabric that go down into the reservoir. It actually wicks the liquid up into the soil and they are spread throughout the dirt. How we connect it is with poly tubing. It flows right in here and it fills up the tank from the bottom up. And then once it hits the top, it moves on to the next one. Once it gets to the end, it just has one valve that's closed off and basically all of them stay full. It does have a manual fill at the top if you need to, but like I said, it fills themselves and it's 100% self-contained and it waters themselves, 100% automated. You plant your perennials and then you never touch it again. Hopefully this view of our self-watering container system uh, has been helpful. If it was, please give us a big thumbs up. Uh, please share this with other people who are gardening minded or love green stuff. Uh, and uh, as always, please subscribe, please favorite, please like, please tweet, and please pin. We'll talk to you later.